Have you ever typed something into ChatGPT or any other AI tool and thought, why does it sound so basic? You're not alone. Most people get mediocre AI results because they do not know how to prompt in the right way. Before we dig in, I want to give some examples of why people actually fail at prompting. Number one, not providing enough context. AI is smart, it really is, but it's not a mind reader. It doesn't know what exactly you want with it. So you have to provide information. Number two is being too vague. Like, write a blog post about productivity. There are like thousands of options. And number three is not using role-based prompting. So the default in ChatGPT is that it is a helpful assistant, but you can also assign it a role. For example, if you say it like, give me business ideas, it will give you a random list of a bunch of random ideas. But if you say, act as an experienced venture capitalist, I'm looking to start an AI-based business with low cost, but high profitability. VCs love that. Suggest five AI startup ideas with monetization models. Gosh, you're gonna get amazing ideas. Now let's move on to the five step pro prompting framework. Number one, role. Number two, task. Number three, context. Number four, constraints. And number five, examples or data. With a role, for example, act as a top tier experience, amazing copywriter, specializing in sales psychology. Task, write a great landing page for a new AI productivity app or something like pick your thing, contacts. This AI helps business owners save 10 plus hours every week by automating their workflow. Constraint, keep it under 150 minutes or give it a tone. Um, say it like it needs to be very professional, persuasive, and it needs to have like a conversational tone. You can give some examples according to the direction you're looking for and add examples. So for example, if you like a website you've seen before, or if you had an email that is similar to this, add it as a file or just copy paste it and give it as examples. So this is like one or two examples that I like, you can take inspiration out of it. You can also say that to AI. And if you have, for example, information on the tool, on your AI productivity app, you can also feed that information as data points so that your text can be more specified with AI. This is one example. What do you use AI for? Let me know in the comments so that I can make the next videos more personalized for you. I'm just gonna give you some random examples that I would be interested in as a person. Basic prompt, write a sales page for my AI tool. Oh my God, no. Or um, write a cover letter for a software engineering job. Seriously, like think of it as a human. Would any human understand the tasks properly when you speak it that way, it's not specific enough, but you can fix it. For the cover letter, you can say, act as a professional career coach. Write me a personalized cover letter for a software engineering position at Google. Highlight my experience with AI-driven development, Python, backend development, etc., etc., and use a formal but engaging tone, keep it under I don't know, two, three hundred words. That's it. And watch the difference. Copywriter example. A good prompt would be, act as a conversation copywriter with expertise in software as a service marketing. Write a high converting sales page for an AI tool that automates business workflows, increasing efficiency by 50%. The audience is business owners who struggle with productivity. So a lot of information. Use persuasive language, highlight the benefits, include a strong CTA, call to action at the end and keep it under 200 words. Amazing. Boom, huge difference between two prompts. So if you want to optimize your prompts even better, I will share four of my secret tips. I don't know why I'm revealing all of this. Number one is chain of thought prompting. 
So instead of one big large request, you break it down into like your chain of thought, step one, step two, step three. Let me give you an example so that you can understand it in a better way. Instead of saying, write me a marketing strategy for my startup, you can say, what are the key elements of a high performing marketing strategy so that you would know what key elements you should be looking for in your next prompt. And out of these key elements, pick the ones that resonates with you and then ask. Now, based on the elements one, two, maybe four, create a customized plan for X, Y, Z, like your faceless Instagram account or a product you have or something that you're looking for. For example, in my case, my AI startup. You ask questions about the strategy and say, refine this plan to focus more on organic traffic or paid ads or faceless accounts. Pick the one from the options. So you break down the huge prompt in different prompts so that you can actually understand the whole process behind it and give the chat GPT a possibility or any other AI tool the possibility to recognize the way you think and optimize accordingly. And while doing this, you also feed the AI some information about what you're looking for so that your result will be more specified and tailored for you. Number two, um, my biggest track is the refinement track. Always ask AI to improve its own answer. So if it says something that you're not really looking for, you say like, adjust these and these aspects. I don't like this, I like this. For example, you can say, make your response more engaging, give it a little bit more detail, or make it more persuasive and data-driven. And let AI self-improve to give you 10x better results. This is my favorite. Number three is make AI evaluate itself. <laughs> I feel like I'm a bad teacher to AI when I do this, but it works. It really works. Try it out and let me know. I always say, um, rate your response from one to 10. What would you give it? And what would you change in your response to make it even better? Example, on a scale of one to 10, how persuasive were you with your marketing strategy? Come on, come on. And how it can be improved? Like, what are you gonna change? <laughs> I love it. And number four, do not trust AI. <laughs> always and always use your own mind and pay attention. AI makes mistakes, so do humans. You need to always use your own judgment your own thinking for the evaluation. Do not trust it blindly. Sometimes it's just jibber jabber. It's garbage. It depends on the topic, to be honest. And AI cannot replace you. It can only make you better and more efficient. And like, it is just a tool. You have to know how to use it and how to guide it. Think of it as like a magic pencil. So, this is an amazing pencil, but it cannot write on its own. So you need to teach how to write. And then because it's a magic pencil, it's gonna write on its own. I mean, not yet, but probably in a few years. And subscribe to see that if it really happens. I'm going to explore everything around AI in this channel because I love it. As an AI startup founder and a tech consultant and an engineer myself, I love technology, I love talking about AI, and I'm gonna let you know all of the AI magic secrets in this channel. Thanks so much for watching, hope this solves, and subscribe to see the next video. See ya!